What's going on everybody? Alex V here today and today we have another uh, computer thing of some sorts. Uh, if you couldn't tell I'm having a little bit of a better voice quality with this camera because I'm not using my my phone. I'm using a Samsung Galaxy S4. And as you can see it's this thing's a pretty big box. I'll show you what's inside, but first let's unbox it. I can find my, my knife. Oh, my knife's on my bed. I'm dumb. Okay. Make sure we got a good angle here. You guys got that? Get that, you know, we got that box cutter action. There's thermal paste and stuff on the way for this puppy. This is not my computer, by the way. Uh, this is a uh, uh, friend's computer. They just shipped it to me to fix it. This box cutter is sharp. Damn. Now, once you guys see this computer, you're going to realize, yeah, it's, it's mine. Well, not, it's not mine, but, like, it's typical of me to buy these. Oh, my God. There we go. Oh, damn it. There we go. Got that styrofoam action going on there. We have a power cord. What else we got? We got the packing slip. To whom it may concern, congratulations on your purchase. Hope you are completely satisfied with this product. If there are any issues with the item, please give up to 48 hours. Give us up to 48 hours to resolve the issue before opening a case on eBay or leaving us negative feedback. I can be reached at, there's a number via text also on, and email me anytime at blank. I'm not going to say it. Please include USPS slash UPS or FedEx in this case with your uh, tracking number with your email text so we can work on this issue quickly. And it's just pink sheets showing everything that's done. We got packing peanuts and lots of them. Lots and lots of packing peanuts. And my phone's going off. Alright. Let's just get this styrofoam out of the way. <laughs> Here, um, let me just show you the thing I bought for this computer, too. If I can find it. There it is. This is the only time I'm probably going to buy brand new components. Got some brand spanking new ramp. Damn, that fo camera focused quick. So, here we go. Damn, I think I might need my vacuum so I can suck up these packing peanuts. Oh, uh, damn. Let me grab my vacuum. Alright, I have my vacuum. It's down there. I'm going to vacuum up all the packing peanuts and shit. Alright, back. I actually, uh, there's nothing a dirt devil can't suck up. And it got all that styrofoam, uh, not styrofoam, but the packing peanuts right out. Now we'll remove the styrofoam. I'm surprised this doesn't break into pieces as I keep as I, uh, Take them out. I got most of the packing peanuts anyway. Um, let's cut this bag open. Oh, where did I put my knife? Front row. Front row. Hi, I'm ugly. Um, there it is. Attack that shit. They really just put this thing in a trash bag. There we go. Glad you guys can't see what it is yet. All right. <laughs> Y'all guessed it. We got ourselves an Optiplex 755. Not a 45, straight up 755. OG right here. I'm going to set this thing on the desk and we'll look at it. Okay, this thing seems to be in rough shape, so what we're actually going to do 
what we're gonna do, yeah, look at that. It, it needs to be backing down on the front here. It needs, let's open the side up. Oh, this is easily the worst computer I've ever looked at. Jeez, here y'all, let me unplug this thing. Look at this, can I turn on flash? No, I can't. Look at this. There's dust all over the place. And there's even a dust bunny. And it's down there, and over there, and up here, oh my god. And then there's two gigabytes of RAM that have dust bunnies on them. Autofocus off. There we go. Yeah, look at the. Look at that. This is. It needs a good cleaning. So let's uh, let's take a video of this. First time lapse video I ever make. All right, let's plug her back in. We are charging. All right, focus. There we go. Let's vacuum it. Wait a second. What am I doing? I have an air compressor out in the garage. As you can see, we got that air compressor running. And then over here, you guys remember this, we got Project Forenza just sitting there. It's done. But meanwhile, we're waiting for the air compressor to load up with some air. Air compressor looks like it has about 65 pounds of pressure, so let's just get on. I know this isn't the politically right thing to do when it comes to cleaning computers, but this is the best thing unless I want to get a shot back and hook it up to the blower end. You guys see that, right? Look at shit, there's shit flying out everywhere. Now time for the power supply fan. I'm just gonna stick it right in the back here. Oh, there's smoke and like stuff coming out. There are just clumps of fur and dust coming out of this thing. Easily the worst computer I've ever worked on. And my air compressor's leaking air, uh, leaking water. Yeah, that ain't good. I can, like, I can taste the dust. I know it sounds bad, but I can. I gotta do this to my machine. My, uh, my Dell has to be cleaned. Alright, I think that's about it. Let's shut off the air compressor and get back in the house. Okay, now it's time to give this thing some special love in the cleaning department. 
You know, I went to look for the heatsink from my Dell Optiplex because this one's just a standard fin one. Actually, I have one. It's just a standard fin one like this. This is from an Optiplex 740. It's just a standard one. But mine had, oh, it had the copper pipes and this, that, and the other. And, uh, yeah. But if I can find it, that'd be great. But I think I threw it away, honestly, because I didn't need it. Because I didn't think that I would ever need to do because that's kind of service. So let me look, that, look around. Alright, I didn't get to clean it, but the other stuff came in the mail. Uh, this one is... This one's a Wi-Fi adapter, and this one's some thermal paste, so let's clean that up. I'll clean this thing up. As we can see, we got that RAM in there, and it is, you know, that 4 gigabytes of RAM. We got uh, 2 gigs of ATEC DDR2, and then we've got the 2 gigabytes of Hynix. Um, next, we got to put a hard drive in. We got to hook the fan back up, uh, and then we got to put an OS on it. First, we got to make sure it boots. So let's bring that over to the test station over there. Right after I'm done uh, putting the hard drive in, hooking it up, everything. Okay, now that we've got everything hooked up, except for power, of course, I'm going to try to close my closet or get through here, because things need to be done. I'm going to plug in my monitor, and i got to find a computer cord. I forgot there was one that came with the damn machine. Don't you dare come on. Well, it decided to come on at first, but nonetheless, we got to put Windows 8.1 on here. I couldn't find my copy of Windows 7 64-bit. I only could find 32-bit, so we'll do 64-bit Windows 8. Hope they're okay with that. Ooh, I go to the BIOS and make sure there's a... What? This puppy has raid? Oh, mine has. My Dell has raid too, but I. But it's a 755, I don't understand. Trust the monitor there. There we go. So let's see, can you all get a good view with that? No, you cannot. Okay, let's zoom in on that. Alright, now we can play around the settings here a little bit. So, system, processor, so you got the, um, we got the Core 2 Duo at 2.33 gigahertz and, uh, 4 megabytes of cache. And it, it's not hyper that incapable, obviously, because it has dual cores. Memory info, everything seems to be detected. Dual symmetric, that's good, what we, that's what we want. Channels 3 and 4, say so rank 2, that's the better RAM. Date and time, it kept the date and time. Boot sequence, let's change. Setup is locked. Oh, this isn't good. 
You're kidding, right? You must enter admin password into the unlock setup field. What? You're kidding. Maintenance, power, security, unlock setup. Oh, this isn't good. Oh, we're in trouble. Wait. Nope. It's not Dell Optiplex 755. Well, I'm going to call the uh, guys who sold me this computer because this is a fuck up. Well, I gave them a call and they decided not to. So we're going to try another option, which is to remove the CMOS battery. Let's see if that clears the BIOS. Because if I pull out the battery, it should reset everything, theoretically speaking. Okay, I need a uh, pen of some sort here. Go. Give it a couple of seconds here. Make sure the battery is in good condition. Let's try that now. Alright, it powered itself on. Shit. See what it does here. Make sure you all get a good view of that. Because this won't be good if there's a password, I won't be able to give this to the um, my customer. Son of a gun. Well, I'm going to look up how to get past the password. Let me grab my tablet. Okay, got my tablet. Let's see what we got here. Get past BIOS password, Dell Optiplex 755. There we go, that's better. Alright. Let's see what this website says. Alright, let me see here. Uh, remove a jumper. There's a jumper from the motherboard. If you look at the motherboard, the jumper controlling the password will be labeled PSWD and is usually blue. Gently remove the jumper. Plug in the computer and power it on again. You should get a message saying password removed. Okay, let's try that. Oh, I see it. I think he sat up. Nope. I'm just gonna assume the one I see here. There's here. There's only one. I know you guys can't see that, but there's only really one jumper, and that's right here. It's blue, and that's the only one there. I can't. Okay, I gotta clean the bottom of the case out. Let me look here. What does it say? Look at the motherboard, the jumper controlling the password will be labeled PSW is usually blue. This is for Apple Plex 755. Yep. Oh, we got any comments left on this thing? It was a super user website. What do we got? Um, no, it won't let you. Change the battery or press startup options. Doesn't help me. Hmm. Alright, let's, uh... Hold another website. Meanwhile, let's pull out this jumper. Let's 
it's not labeled anything. I think it it looks like there was black marker right next to it. Where are the pins? I feel like there's black marker right there. And that's hot. It looks like there's black marker. So somebody might have tried this before. So we gotta power it on and then it should complain that the password's been removed. Let's see what it says here. Because this isn't good. I can't fix this and give it to the customer unless we can get it to work. Please come on. Oh crap, I'm running out Well, before I ran out of storage, I recently was able to hold the jumper and then it came up password disabled. I'm not even joking. Let's turn it on. Literally all it did was it freaked out, like it shut off a couple of times and then came right back on and then it said it beeped at me very loudly it scared the hell out of me and then it said password disabled like right up top there so watch this maybe it'll do it again no I don't think it will no boot device available let's go to F2, I'll put the jumper back in. Right after I'm done here. Aha, it's gone. All right, let me put the jumper back in. Well, I'm able to actually now use it. It finally figured out how to, it finally figured out. No password, I set all the things to our liking and I'm being yelled at by people. There you go. All right, so now next step is to install Windows 8. Focus, damn thing. All right, let's install Windows 8. I'll be back when this is done. Okay, little change of plans. We might have a... Um, Windows 8 could not find the drive. It could not find the driver for the hard drive. So I, I, I did so many things. I tried, you know, pulling the drivers off of this. And um, it, it, it would not load, so I guess Windows 7 is the best option. And I've only got Windows 7 32 bit, but I mean, for you know, 4 gigabytes of RAM, sure, I'm running 64 bit on my machine, but that doesn't make a damn bit of difference, does it? Um, at least we got past the BIOS password. So let's choose professional, except. Oh, you've gotta be sh. Browse, boots, no, untitled, Dell, go. Damn. This is not good. This is, this is, this is not good. All right. I don't understand. My, this hard drive is a good hard drive. I know for a fact it is. I don't know if it's the raid that's causing the problem. Okay, yeah, let's try it this way. Um, I have one more dumb solution that just might work. It's called the good, the old-fashioned Windows XP. I'll try Windows XP. Maybe that'll pick up the driver. I don't know. Because this system came with Windows Vista. I would put Vista on. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with Vista, to be honest. But it's not... This is complete BS. So what I'll do is I'll put XP on. I will... I'll put... Um, I'll upgrade directly to 7. So that it should be able to pick up the drive. Now, if I really wanted to get serious and this doesn't work, I'd put the drive in my computer. Install Windows 7 on that. And then switch it back to this computer. And then it should have no problem. So let's see if I can get it to start to Windows XP. His Windows XP was, it was this for the, the day. It was this. Actually, I'm gonna get a thumbnail of me doing that. It was, uh, it was. Got it. All right. So yeah, Windows XP works out. It's just perfect thumbnail, yeet. Because I'm too lazy to make my own thumbnails and Photoshop and stuff. But, let's see how this works out. I'll be back when all of this loads, and let's see if it loads anything, like, driver-wise. This might not mean anything, but down there, 
by the um, setup loading files, it did say Intel RAID AHCI or something like that. You know, I just thought of something. If it really comes to the point where this doesn't work, I can put Mac OS on this. I just realized that. I tried to do that with my 745 and it didn't work because it didn't have the right SATA options. So if it doesn't work with this, I'll try 1068 Snow Leopard. Maybe that'll make a difference. I don't know. But let's just see how this turns out. It's loading. It's starting Windows. Oh, God. Oh, that scared me. Hey! Wait a second. 76 gigabytes, and then it says 152. So let's delete that partition. Enter. Lose. Okay. C. Enter. Format. All right, let's see uh, how this works, honestly. Or I can do it this way. After it formats it, I can just leave it. If it's in the... Okay, so let's let it examine. Then I'll pull the disk out and then try 7 again. Because that might have been why. So... <laughs> let me shut the computer off. Turn it back on. Pull the disk out. This is probably gonna corrupt it the hell out of Windows, but it's worth a shot to see if it'll work. No, don't pull the disk back in. Come here. Yep. All right. It's gonna complain that that's missing. Control Delete. Let's hope this works. I'll be back when Windows 7 loads. All I have to say is thank you, Windows XP. You magnificent bastard. Alright, battery's running low on this phone, so let's just get to installing. Setup was anybody else? You are kidding me. Alright, I guess it's time for another hard drive. We'll give this one a shot. I love my WD drives, and I don't want to give them up, but if this Samsung drive refuses to let me install Windows, then we're going to have to do this. Oh, yeah, hot swap drives. So, it says that the firm. I'm thinking that this is corrupt because it's only 80 gigabyte drive. So let's see here. So we will just hit apply. See what that does. Yep. See. Okay. Let's restart the computer and then go into RAID because now, like I understand now why it's doing it because this WD drive was the master hard drive. I have to put that drive hook up, hook it up to my computer, and then um. Erase it through disk management. I'm gonna plug this phone in. I'm running out of battery. Hold on. Oh, this is new. So I I formatted the hard drive, and I I honestly don't know where it got this I bright idea from, but it tried to start Windows XP. I am not even joking. Like it showed Windows XP, then the day. One line later, it freaking crashed. Let's hope this thing starts from the CD this time. There we go. I'm gonna plug this phone in. Let's see if this works. Let's hope this works. Professional. Go. Accept. Go. Copy. Yee. Uh. Delete, yeah. New, okay. Oh no, it, it didn't make the recovery partition. It's not going to let me. Great. Alright, I'm going to try one more idea. Well, this is always a good sign. I all the SATA operation to ADA. ATA. Finally! This is always a good sign that it's finally starting window. Alright, well, ah. Uh, all that's left now is to set up everything and make sure.
guys, it's Alex B. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a very nice Dell Optiplex 735, which was purchased on eBay, like most of my parts. Inside, as you were able to see, this thing has a core 2 dual at 2.33 GHz, 4 GB of RAM, upgraded from the original 2. It has been cleaned inside and out, keep in mind. And then it's running Windows 7 Professional 32-bit. Now I know that this system would be able to run 64-bit, but the problem is I didn't have a 64-bit copy of Windows 7. I only had a 64-bit copy of Windows 8.1, and that was my professional. But Windows 7 Professional 32-bit, quick and snappy. So if you guys want more videos like this, please tell me in comments below. Until next time, Alex be out. Like, comment, and subscribe.